In this lesson, we are going to learn to draw the wheel of a car. To do this, start by clicking on the circle tool. Move to the origin point and then move along the green axis line until you are ready to start drawing your wheel. Press the left arrow key. The cursor will turn green. Click the mouse button and move the cursor outwards until you have a circle that you are happy with. This will be the overall size of your wheel. When you are ready, click the mouse button to complete the circle. Select the push pull tool. Now click on the surface of the circle and move the cursor towards you until you are happy with the width of your wheel. When you're ready, release the mouse button. Now select the offset tool. Move to the edge of your wheel. Click the edge of the wheel and draw another circle, which will become the inner part of our car wheel. When you're ready, click the mouse button to complete the circle. Move to the edge of the wheel again, click the mouse button and draw a slightly smaller circle. This will become the tread or the grip of the car tyre. When you're ready, click the mouse button to complete the circle. We now have the overall shape of our car wheel. We now need to add details to our car wheel. To do this, rotate around the car wheel so you can see the front view. Zoom in so you can have a larger look at the wheel. Select the line tool. Move to the end points of the wheel. You will know when you found them because the cursor will turn green. We need to join each end point of the wheel. To do this, click on an end point and move the cursor to the opposite end point. You know you have selected the opposite end point if the line passes through the center point of the wheel. When you're ready, click the mouse button to complete the line. Do this for each end point on your wheel. We now need to draw a second set of lines. To do this, move to the center point between the two lines that you've already drawn, the arc midpoint. When you've found the arc midpoint, the cursor will turn green. Click on the arc midpoint and move to the opposite midpoint. Again, you will know when you are in the right position because the line will pass through the center point of the wheel and it will tell you again that you've reached the opposite midpoint. Move around the wheel and complete this second set of lines. If you make a mistake, simply undo it and draw the line again. All of the lines we have just drawn will become the grip or the tread of the car tyre. We must delete the lines we've drawn from the inner and middle circles. To do this, select the eraser tool and move around the inside of the wheel in a 
circular motion and highlight all of the lines. If you miss any, just go over them one more time. Release the mouse button to delete the lines. Move to the second circle and delete the lines from there also. Again, if you miss any, just go over them a second time. We should only be left with lines in the outer section of our wheel. Use the rotate tool to move around the wheel so that you can see it from the side. Now use the push pull tool. Click on one of the sections of the grip. When it's highlighted, it will become blue. Click the mouse button and push the piece of the tread backwards until it gets to the very edge of the wheel. Release the mouse button and it will disappear completely. Do this again for the next piece of the tread. Move around the wheel, deleting each alternate piece of the tread. You may have to use the rotate tool and move around the wheel to get a better view. Do this for the entire wheel until you are left with what looks like the grip on a tyre. Select the Orbit tool and rotate the wheel so that you can see it from the front. Select the Eraser tool and delete the lines from the lower part of the rectangles lining the wheel. Use the Orbit tool to rotate the wheel so that you can see it from the side. We now have a car wheel with a grip around the edge of the wheel. To complete the wheel, we need to add a few finishing touches. First, click on the Push-Pull tool. Click on the center circle and move the center circle inward slightly to create the illusion of the center metal part of a car wheel. Now click on the selection tool. Drag around the whole thing that you've just drawn so that the whole shape becomes blue. Click on the paint bucket tool and from the list of options select the plastic or synthetic surfaces. Select the one that looks most like a car tyre. Click to apply this to your shape. Now click on the selection tool and click off the wheel to deselect it. Click on the inner circle one time. The inner circle will change to blue. From the list of options in the colours panel, 
Select Metal. Choose a metal surface that you're happy with. On the center circle, apply that look to the wheel. When you're ready, you can close the color panel down and rotate around your wheel. And you can see that we have a finished wheel that we could apply to a vehicle. Select the whole wheel again. Right click and select Make Group. We can now use the Move tool to move the wheel around the screen. 